Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie. If you are new here, please do subscribe down below. I would love that. So today I wanted to show you three different ways that I use my Peak Design 6 litre everyday sling bag in grey. So I have done a couple of videos already talking about this bag. I did one that was like a kind of first impressions when I think about a week after I'd had it. I then did one about three months later being like, no, it's useless, I don't like it. I then did a video about a year after that saying, okay, I changed my mind, I actually love the bag. And so today I thought I would show you three or four, I think four different ways that I use this bag because I've had a bit of an on off relationship with it. Like I said, I loved it and then I wasn't sure, now I love it again. So I kind of want to show you the different ways that I use this bag and hopefully this will be helpful for people that consider getting this bag but are not quite sure kind of what fits inside. Because I know that when I was looking at the different sizes, they have, is it like a four litre, six litre and 10 litre? Something like that. I think they have two or three different sizes and I wasn't sure between the six litre and the 10 litre. The 10 litre just looks a lot bigger, but actually I can fit a lot in here. Now, if you've watched my previous video, you know I was saying, oh my God, it's useless, I can't fit anything in there. I've completely changed my mind. So, I do have an, like, not an unboxing, but like a first impressions of this bag. I'm not gonna go through any of the specs or anything like that. This is not that kind of video. I'm literally gonna show you what fits in and the ways that I organize this bag. So that if you're thinking about getting it, it kind of makes a bit more sense for you. So, the first way that I use this bag, so first of all, I'll give you a quick tour because you need to know a little bit about it. There is a pocket in the front. I said in some of my other videos that it's useless because it's too small, you can't get your hand in there, especially when it's full. I stand by that. I think in here I have the extra straps, which again, I still have not used in about two years of having this bag, something like that. So I don't use the straps and I don't use this pocket. That is just my experience. There is a pocket in the back here where you can fit apparently a Kindle, things like that. I never use that either, to be honest. That to me would be more helpful if it was on the back here where you could just put your phone in there. This back pocket to me is useless. It does have a pocket on the inside here, which I actually find quite useful. I've got in there some of business card. I've got some lip balm. I've got a memory card just in case I ever leave the house without a memory card in my camera. So I do keep a couple of bits in there. Batteries fit in there as well, which is great. And then it also comes with these separators. So these separators are actually really good. What I do, I'm gonna show you three different ways. The first way is I actually undo this from the, like my front, if that makes sense. And I make it lay across the back. So it's still in there, it's still in this position, but it's just flat and it gives me way more space to get things in there. So this first way is how I used it when I got on an airplane recently. I actually had my camera and my lenses in my kind of day backpack. I've got videos on that as well. I'll leave the backpack down below. I'll also leave the video where I've talked about that down below as well because I think people have found that quite useful. So when I travel, I keep my camera equipment, my computer, things like that in my kind of backpack. And then in here, I put any travel essentials that I might need for the journey. So I thought I would show you what fits in here so you have an idea of size. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the Life Straw bottle. This is 24 ounces, 700 milliliters. This does fit in flat, sideways like that, like laying flat in the bottom. I don't know if I'd recommend that because you might have some leakage, but it does fit in there. So if you have a 24, milli 24 ounce, sorry, bottle, that might be, that might fit in there. But, I didn't do that, I actually attached that to my bag. What I did have in here was an A5 notebook. So that fits in really, really easily. There's loads of space at the top there, the space at the sides. So as you can see there, that is, you know, there's loads of space. I'm then gonna put in just a regular size purse that I have all my credit cards and things like that in there. I'm then going to put in my passport. I'm gonna put in two pairs of glasses. So this is sunglasses and regular glasses. They're gonna go in there as well. I've got my Kindle, that's gonna go in there, Kindle Paperwhite. I'm also gonna leave as many of these items as I can in the description box down below, like the Kindle, the bag, probably my um, passport cover. I think it's so cute, I'll try and find that. Um, so some of the things I mentioned, I'll try and link below. I'm also gonna put in my deodorant because that's always handy when you're getting on 12 hour pl um, flights. I've also got some painkillers. I've got a battery pack charger thingy majig. I'm actually gonna put those up right. I'm gonna put that next door. 
So the only thing missing is my phone, but I'm currently filming on that, so I can't pop that in here. But if I show you the amount of space that I still have in here, you're gonna kind of think it's crazy. So I'm gonna try my best to show you. So as you can see, you've got the, the notebook at the back there. So I still have space here. This is my purse. We've got my passport there, the glasses. We've got the um, charger. We've got my deodorant. So there's still loads and loads of space in there. If you wanted to get a water bottle, you could put that in on top. And then if I close that up, you can see that that is the ideal size for something like an extra bag with your either a small suitcase or a backpack, something like that as hand luggage. This is classed as like a small bag. So you can just put all your essentials in here. So when you get on the plane, you just put your big bag with like laptop, camera equipment, things like that in the overhead lockers, whatever they're called. And then you can keep this with you with things like headphones, iPad, um, Kindle, notebook, passport, purse, glasses, deodorant, all those little things you can keep with you so you can just have that by your feet and just have easy access to all the bits rather than having to keep going up and get things out of your main bag. So that is the very first way that I use this bag. Um, it's not the, the way that I use it the most but it is something that I have done in the past and I think it's really helpful just to have a bag this size for all of your daily essentials. So if you don't have a camera or if you want to do a day trip without your camera, this is such a good bag to be able to use for things like, you know, purses, wallets, Kindles, notebooks, sunglasses, water, deodorant, um, tickets, what else? Just kind of any daily essentials you can put in here. The other thing actually I put in here was toothbrush, toothpaste and my braces. So because I think we did an overnight flight, so I could go and brush my teeth and easily kind of put my braces in and out and things like that. Um, snacks as well as another thing, so crisps or Haribo or fruit, things like that. You can actually fit quite a lot in here, depending on obviously the size of things. You can actually fit quite a lot in here. So it's a really good kind of day bag, I would say. So that's number one. <laughs> number two is for when I'm going for a day trip, but I also want to take some essentials with me. So this was part of the second video I did where I was like, oh, you can't fit things in. Ignore that. So what I do now, so because I kept that in the place where it was, I'm now going to undo that section and do it up there so that we have my camera section and then an extra section here. So what I do is I put my camera in. So I have the Sony A6600 with the Tamron 17 to 70. This is my ride or die lens. I use it most of the time. I have two other lenses that I'm traveling with that I will use on occasion. So when I'm filming yoga or when I'm filming a sit down video, I tend to use my wide angle. But if I'm photographing buildings or people, things like that, I tend to use my zoom lens. But for just kind of like an everyday day trip essentials bag, I will use this camera and this lens. I will leave them linked down below if you want to look at dimensions to compare with your camera equipment or so in case you want to buy them for yourself. The camera goes in the left hand side here. And then in the right hand side here is where I can put things like my purse, I can put in some glasses, I can put in some lip balm, I can put in some deodorant, I can put in my phone battery pack thingamajig, so that can fit in there. I can fit in a wire so that I can charge my phone because I vlog on my phone. So oftentimes I do need just a little bit of a top up during the day. Um, and that's kind of it for my day travel so i have my camera on the left and then i have any kind of glasses and things like that on the right hand side and what that means is that when i do it up if i want to use my camera equipment i have it crossbody as well by the way i've never worn it around my waist which i know is an option with this bag i've never done that not that it's good or bad i just it's never been something that i've done so i kind of keep my bag quite high i never have it behind me i always keep it in front of me so it's nice and safe but it just means that if I do want to take pictures, I just open this section. So I'll pull this one down to the bottom, this one down to the side. I can quickly get my camera out, use it, put it back in and close it again. It's just quick and easy access. And then for anything like purse or, you know, sunglasses, things like that, I just open the other side. So this is kind of option number two for if I'm doing a day trip, but I also want to carry essentials with me. So number three is if I'm going out for a bit of a photography day. So maybe my husband has got his bank card. I've got my sunglasses on my head. I'm not going to need to change them. I'm not bothering with the deodorant. I don't mind if I smell the photography <laughs> is mo the most important. So I will keep my camera where it is with my 17 to 70 lens. And then in the right hand side here, I can put in my 70 to 180 by Tamron. This is my favorite, well, it's my only, but it's my lens of choice for zooming in. 
that can go in the side there. And now with this camera and lens combo, I do have space to put, for example, sunglasses on top, maybe my phone on top. Um, I might squeeze in something like a battery pack. You can kind of squeeze that in the side and then put it, oops, and then put the cable on top. So the problem I have with this is that it does get a little bit faffy when you want to change the lenses out because you kind of have to take that out and then take that out and then take your lens out and swap them over. So it is a little bit more of a faff, but it is definitely doable. So for example, you could do that and then put glasses just on top, which again is a pain if you want to actually take some photographs. You need to, one second, you would need to open your bag, move the glasses, take your camera out, put your glasses back in again. But it's not a big deal. It's just, it's a bit of a faff, but honestly, it's not a big deal. Not as big of a deal as I was making that last time I did a video like this. So you can put your glasses on top like that and that closes up absolutely fine and everything's safe. Okay, then the fourth one, I'm just gonna take out these little extra bits, is if I want to take all three lenses. Now this doesn't happen often, but it is something that has happened a couple of times now and it is a faff to change lenses to get my camera out. So it's not something I do every single time I go out and use my camera, but it is an option. So I wanted to show you that as well. So I have my Tamron 17 to 70 on my Sony a6600. I've got my Tamron 70 to 180, which is a zoom lens. What I'm gonna do is unstick these and really squish it in a little bit further just to get a tiny bit of extra space there. And then what I can do, I'm hoping you can see this with my second camera I've got set up. But what I can do now is get my Tamron 11 to 20 f 2.8, which is my wide angle lens for my Sony camera. And I'm gonna pop that on top. Now this is a little bit tight. It's a little bit of a squeeze, but it does fit. Like I said, it's a bit of a pain if you ever want to take photographs, you've kind of got to take that lens out, take the camera out, put that lens back in again. And same when you put the camera back in again, you kind of just got to rejig it a little bit. But I can get one camera and three lenses in this bag. And I think that's really important to talk about because I don't think I gave this bag a fair chance the first time I really talked about it. And with that, you can close up the bag and it's all safe and tucked nicely in there. So in terms of if I could get anything extra in there, let's try with a pair of glasses. Maybe that way might be better. Yeah, so I can get glasses in there. I would be able to get my phone on there as well. The other option I do when traveling is to put any money or bank cards in this section here, this little pocket, which is, I don't know if that's obvious where that is. Um, there's a little pocket there where I might put my bank card or money, things like that. Okay, my camera just fell. I hope we're in the same sort of position, but I could definitely get a passport in there. You could definitely get a couple of essentials, um, but that's kind of pretty much the most I would ever want to put in there. I would not then be able to fit any water. That just would not close. Um, okay, the last thing I want to mention is I bought this clip from Decathlon before we went traveling and it's just like a carabiner clip. And I've actually used this a few times for a couple of different reasons. So sometimes I will attach it on the bottom here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. So on there, and then I can attach, for example, a water bottle. So I've attached my water bottle to the bottom and this is an easy way to be able to carry my water bottle. I know that there are the straps that you can use on the bottom of the bag. I haven't used that because I don't think it feels safe to me. This feels a lot safer to be able to carry my water bottle on my bag and know that it's not gonna drop or I'm not gonna lose it. It's not gonna break, anything like that. So that's one way I've been using it. And then the other thing I've been doing is I have these jackets from Patagonia. This is a puffer jacket. I also have a rain jacket that packs away like this. And oftentimes I will take the little hook from there and hook it on as well. So same concept, you can kind of have jackets dangling as well. Now you can either hang it from here. I've been out today and it was raining. So I actually hung my rain jacket like this. So actually on the strap of the bag, I hope you can see that properly. So the strap of the bag, I put the carabiner clip and then my jacket. So it means that when I'm carrying my bag, I just have my jacket hanging on the side, which again is super useful. So there are a couple of different places where you could use something like that. There's a side grip here. There's these little tag, tags on the bottom. There's obviously the strap. There's also the top handle, which is also actually really, really useful for if you're just kind of quickly grabbing your bag, you can quickly grab it from the top. Um, so yeah, that was the last thing I wanted to mention. 
is that I do also add things sometimes like water, a jacket, things like that. I will kind of clip onto the bag and use. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video talking about the four different ways that I use this bag. I will leave anything that I've mentioned and that I can find in the description box down below, including the bag. I actually really, really like this and I'd highly recommend it to not only photographers, but also just people in general. Like I keep saying to my husband, Jeremy, as soon as his DJI, whatever it is, drone bag breaks, I'd recommend this because I think it's a perfect size for drones, for cameras, for kind of daily essentials, traveling essentials, things like that. I think it's a really good bag. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye.